over the last three years, we've been bringing together staff, activists, and members in a sense of common purpose and identity. And we're now ready, I think, to take one big step forward. Representing Cabin Crew over the lifetime of Forza and since Forza was established, we have grown in strength and significance. We were a branch that represented members only in one airline to turn into a branch that represents members now in all the airlines. So it's been an exciting time, it's been a challenging time, but one that we have seen that Forza is now the sole voice for Cabin Crew who operate in the Republic of Ireland. We had to get into some intense negotiations with employers and actually disputes in order to achieve union recognition. So it was well fought for and achieved. So it is great to now be in a position where our membership has increased by more than 50% in the last three years. 11,000 SMAs in Forza now, that's a heck of a number and that's a lot of, a lot of power. I know in my own area um, in Kildare, myself and um, other members of the branch ex executive have been really trying to build on community networks. And along with getting new members, it's also getting the members that are there involved and knowing that there's other members. Building it from grassroots level up again, which is, is the way to build um, a stronger membership and a more involved um, and I suppose passionate membership as well. We are not just a one-trick pony representing a single grade or a single discipline. Um, Forza has an immense diversity which I witnessed grow in, um, in a previous existence and um, that in itself is a strength of this union. The role of grassroots activists in campaigns is the difference between an advocacy group and a movement. The More Power To You campaign is the campaign for stronger local democracy and better local services delivered through a modern, dynamic local government. The campaign started coming up to three years. There was a motion put forward to all the council to have the local bin taken back into council. Then we set about a campaign and we, there was things added onto it. like. Uh, the housing projects, trying to get council to build more houses. Then there was climate change. Then there was the water, to try and get the water back into the public authority and try and get a, a referendum to have it to have it taken back so we, we could never lose it again. So basically, I won't get privatised like the bins. I made a mess of Private companies cut corners to make bigger profit. Councils don't. Councils are there as a utility for the people. One campaign that I suppose is timely because we've recently achieved a, a positive piece of news on it is the Support Our Secretaries campaign. And this is the campaign for respect and fair conditions for all school secretaries, um, many of whom were earning low pay and in extremely precarious conditions within schools around the country. We had four day strike action two years ago. Um, in relation to management taking away access to the Flexi scheme in Roscommon County Council for staff. While it might seem a local issue for Roscommon, ended up being an issue nationally because if management had the chance to take away our family friendly working um, arrangements in Roscommon, there was a potential that they could take it away in any other organisation in the country. We had a national rally held at the end of our four day strike action where people from all around the country, all members from all civil service, health boards, local authorities, all came behind us and marched through Roscommon Town. Um, we never thought as a small local branch in Roscommon that we would be the first force of industrial action in the country. The current agreement, the PSSA, was negotiated before FORSA was formed. Each of the three uh, former unions was involved in those negotiations and indeed uh, voted to accept the terms. This year, a lot of our focus has been on ensuring that the government honoured its part of the current agreement. What we now need to do is look ahead and collectively we need to try and strike a new deal for public services and for public servants. One that says farewell to austerity, but also provides hope for the future.
I work as a primary care development manager, so um, initially I would have been developing primary care teams which were new to primary care from over the last decade. I put all, a lot of work into developing the post and all of a sudden I realised that this post was going to be advertised, anybody could apply for it. Actually there were other people in the same position as myself, so there were five of us. We had two sessions with the WRC which weren't successful and then we ended up in the Labour Court and we were successful in our claim at the Labour Court and we were made permanent within a very short period of our time in the Labour Court, which was fantastic. And as far as I'm aware, about 1,700 people since then have actually um, been in a similar position and had their posts made permanent, so it has helped other people. The CE supervisor is responsible for the CE scheme and without CE a lot of the community wouldn't survive. I was in the Labour Court in 2008 when the both unions took the then funding agent FOSS to the Labour Court to seek a pension and as you were aware we achieved that. We were awarded the pension in July 2008 and here we are 12 years later still waiting for the pension. There's a lot of anger because we've been waiting 12 years for a simple thing like a pension. We're not going anywhere. They know we're not going anywhere. And if, if, if the case comes that they don't play ball with us, then they know we have industrial action and we will take industrial action. We're currently in a form of industrial action at the moment and we will ramp it up if the government doesn't play ball with us. We work with people and their families over 18 who are affected by drug use. Our members and myself are 13 years with a pay freeze. The trade unions have been banging the drum. Enough is enough. Just pay up and recognise the work that we have done in relation to redeployment and even years before that. We've unfinished business and now we're back. Very strong, very serious and we're not taken anymore. No. So now we have a five-year strategic plan. This is going to set priorities and focus for our dedicated staff. It's going to support our amazing, selfless and courageous branch activists. And most importantly, we see it as delivering better outcomes for our members. But the best way that you can help us to achieve that is to ensure that we maximize recruitment in your workplace. Because if we organise effectively, we know we will deliver for you.